Well, we're heading north toward Rogers, and I'm filming this at night. It's actually not quite 6.30 at night, actually. And there's a reason I'm filming this at night. That's because this video is going to be about darkness. You'll see once we arrive up in Rogers and get together with my grandson. There's a website out there called Harris Educational. Actually, the website is uh, harris-educational.com forward slash reinventing dash science. But you can just get it with Harris Educational. And he builds these really cool kits. And uh, you can buy them and put them together with your, you know, with your kid or you can do it yourself, actually. <laughs> well, one of the kits, his name is Bennett Harris. He, he's really a good guy. I've had a lot of contacts with him. We've exchanged several emails. And one of the things that, one of the kits that he has is called Reinventing Edison. Build your own light bulb. And it's right here on his, this is his website. Right down here is the link. You click on it. And it takes you to Reinventing Edison Build Your Own Light Bulb page. And it tells you how to build your own light bulb. I was so impressed with this kit that I went ahead and I bought one of these kits for my youngest grandson, John. And today we're going to put this kit tonight, uh, together. I'm going to show everybody the kit here in a second. And then tonight, when it's dark, we're going to turn this thing on and see if it works. So stand by to stand by. When you order your kit, it'll, it'll come in a, in a box just like this. And it has a little... A photograph on the front of what you're going to be doing. Kind of a neat little setup. I like it. And in order to do this experiment, you're going to need two of these. Uh, you can either take two 9 volts uh, square batteries and hook them in parallel, or you can hook up two 6 volt batteries, lantern batteries like this, and you can hook them up in series. I'm going to go with the two 6 volts in series. Open your kit, and this is what you got. You got a little plastic bag with some stuff in it, and a couple of envelopes at the bottom that say tungsten wire. You can see that. See the wire in there? I don't know if you can see that or not. Yeah, you can just barely make it out. Right, right there, my finger is. Let's see here. Yeah, you can make it out a little better right there. Anyway, there's two, two envelopes of those. At least in this one, there is. And then you've got your instructions uh, manual right here and a whole bunch of other things that, that go together in order to make this light bulb. So that's what we're going to be digging into later. Uh, John and I are going to sit here we're going to put this whole thing together. We've got some alligator clip wires, we've got some pencil lead, we've got a vacuum tube. I mean that's, that's the tube where the, the bulb is actually going to be inside. We have uh, extractors to create a vacuum inside there you know a vacuum extractor and there's a uh, switch a knife switch down in there a couple of terminals very interesting can't wait to start on it incidentally on the back of the instruction manual is a picture of Bennett Harris a handsome young feller he's from North Carolina apparently he graduated from the University of North Carolina and he holds a degree in uh, technology education anyway he there is a YouTube video on him if you really want to see him in person uh, they did a news report just go to YouTube and type in uh, Bennett Harris I think it is or Edison light bulb reinventing Edison build your own light bulb and uh, there's a newspaper reporter that interviews him and you, you can see his shop a little bit they recommend that you use uh, alkaline batteries, so we went down and picked up a couple of these 6-volt uh, alkalines. Uh, this is what I was going to use, but, uh, you know, I'm, I'm just going to go with the alkaline. They're a little bit more expensive, but they're not too bad. So John is going to take his little instruction book here now, and we're going to go down here step by step and see if we can't get this thing put together. Now, this is the bulb itself. This is the bulb. This is, what it, this is what's going to light up and give us our light when we get all this together. And we have a rubber stopper here and a rubber stopper here with a couple of contacts on the top. This little booger on here is another rubber stopper. It's a pressure relief. That's how you can relieve the pressure or let air back into the bulb after uh, 
after you've uh, vacuumed out uh, the uh, cylinder uh, with this vacuum pump right here and you want to let air back in you can just pop that right there and it allows the air to go back in and of course you've got your knife switch which is your on off switch actually and a contact and some alligator clips or gator wires that they gave us and we have some lead that we can use for filament which is what we're going to use first we also have some tungsten wire that I showed you a little while ago tungsten wire and we also have some uh, brass and copper wire that we can use we can try you know experiment with each one of these this thing is not designed to just uh, you know show everybody how to make a light but to, you know has experimental uh, things inside of it you can try this try that cut down the voltage I guess and see what happens see which one of these lasts the longest make a little note and all that this is a check valve uh, this end will go into the pump over there and it will suck the air uh, out of the uh, cylinder and then when you pull the air out and you push the plunger back in this is a check valve that releases the air that you just sucked out of the cylinder or out of the light bulb this is actually the bulb so from now on we'll call it the bulb okay let's see what John can do now by putting this together well, he's hard at it ladies and gentlemen let's see if he can come up with ha this uh, complicated mechanism here. are you gonna be able to do this are you gonna be able to handle this boy oh yeah because right. I'm the Grandson of my grandpa. The grandson of your grandpa. Okay, we shall see, boy. We shall see. All right, what we've got here so far, let's see what we've got. We've got our pump hooked up. This is the relief valve. After you suck the air out of the bulb, it'll come out down this tube. And then when you push the pump back in, like so, it pushes the air out. And then you can withdraw the pump one more time and suck some more air out. You got to do it about <clears throat> know, five, six, seven times. Get a nice vacuum going in there. The knife switch is open. The wire is connected. He just connected it to this terminal right here. Now we have to connect our batteries. And uh, we have to put a filament in there. So we'll put a filament in there, but not until we get everything else just about ready. All right, he just hooked up these two batteries in series, and he's hooked one side of the, uh, the positive lead to uh, one side of the uh, terminal. The other one, he's going to be hooking to this one down here, and then he will close his knife switch to make contact. But first, we have to get a filament in, and you're reading right now how to do the filament, aren't you? Yeah, I got it. You got it, huh? You know, I think Bennett Harris would be very proud of you. Yeah, he, he, and the thing I like about that book that he did was, you know, you can try all different kinds of filaments, and uh, you can coil the filaments, these little, these little tungsten and wire, uh, brass and copper filaments, you can, you can coil them around a pencil, he tells you what length to make them, and then put them inside and light them and see which one lasts the longest, cool stuff, we're going to see here in a few seconds, as soon as it gets a little darker, we're going to light up this entire house, aren't we? Yep. <laughs> Yeah, we sure are. John just discovered that when you take your pencil lead, uh, it, ca it can't be any wider, of course, than the width of the, or the, uh, the diameter of the inside of the bulb. So he has to be very careful to make sure it does not touch. Stretch those uh, on down straight. Now, that way it will help a little bit, okay? All right, the, uh, the lead is now broken at the right length and it's attached between the two alligator clips inside the bulb. What's left to do? We got just about everything ready to go except to hook up these series batteries. He's got to hook it right there and then close the, the knife switch here. But first there's something else we have to do. What is it? What did Thomas Edison have to do to get his bulb to operate, to burn for quite a while? To do the air pump. Valve. What what does that mean? What what is he creating inside? Air vacuum. He's creating a vacuum inside that bulb, and that's what you have to do by pumping this pump. So let's see what you got, big boy. Let's create a little vacuum here. How many times? Just keep going. It's going to get harder and harder each time. Pull it back. 
push it. Oh, oh, you don't pull it all the way out. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, what we have here is He-Man John. He's, it's getting really tough to create that vacuum, isn't it? It must be that milk. You think it's that? Yeah, he's been drinking 1% chocolate milk. Oh, man. Is that manly milk or not? It's very manly. It is not manly. No, no. Ooh, there goes the light bulb. <laughs> Come on now. Get that back. Ooh, man. Oh. <laughs> All right, we think we've created a, a pretty good vacuum. Now it, we had to go ahead and really press down on this uh, little stopper here. This is called a vacuum release stopper. We had to make sure we had a good seat right there and make sure that the, the large uh, rubber stopper was seated very well and it was seated down here. It took a little bit of doing. I mean, you've got to really do something to create a nice uh, vacuum. Now we're going to turn out the lights. He's got the wire hooked up here. The wire hooked up here, and we're ready to throw the knife switch. So go ahead, sit in there. Just a second, honey. Okay. Go ahead, sit down. No, don't turn off the light yet. You get in position. You get ready to turn your knife switch on. It's a light. And put your hand over there by the knife switch, and don't put your hand by the batteries or anything. Don't touch the batteries. I'll turn the lights off. You ready? Yep. I'll tell you when. We'll do it on three, okay? One, two, three. Whoa, whoa, is that cool oh, yeah. or is that cool, huh? Look at that. We got us a light bulb going here, ladies and gentlemen. Is that slick? Now, eventually, it's going to burn out. It'll reach a certain amount of current pull. But look at that. I can see everybody here. We did a good job. That's really it's slick. Really what do you think of that, huh? That's really bright. There, ooh, look how bright it's getting. Wow, it's really getting out it's there really now. Burned. And it finally burned out. Okay. <laughs> it was burning it. Yep, it burnt the lead that we were using as a filament right in half. That's why it got so bright. But that, what'd you think of that? That was really cool. Yeah, it was really cool. Wasn't it? it really lit the whole place up. You didn't yeah. expect that, did you? No. <laughs> All right. We'll see if we can't come up with some kind of a tungsten uh, coil, just like you would find in a normal light bulb. We'll see if we can't coil some tungsten around maybe the filament, or I mean the, uh, the, fill, uh, the uh, fill, uh, refill inside this pen. Give us a nice tight coil, and then we'll hook that up and see how much longer that one lasts. You want to try that? Yeah. Yeah, I do too. <laughs> okay, now, now when you take this out of here, you pull your little rubber stopper out of the hole on top. That's your vacuum release stopper right there. And you take it out. These will, you know, give it a few, a little while to cool down because they stay, these uh, copper-coated uh, alligator clips stay pretty hot. You want them to cool down before you release the the remains of your filament. Right now he's wrapping the uh, tungsten wire. It's 30 gauge, uh, 6 inches of tungsten wire around there to make our next filament. We're, like I said, we're using the, uh, the refill from the, uh, the pen, inside the pen, as, a, as our form. Well, there's the old coil. We got it all done. And you think you say that the tungsten coil will burn longer than the carbon I did. I think the tungsten coil. The will tungsten, tungsten. Con tungsten yeah. coil will burn longer. But which one will burn brighter? Did you say? Do you think this one know. will burn brighter than the carbon maybe. did? Maybe. No, I can't have maybe. We have to have a commitment here. Yes. Yes. You think the tungsten will burn longer and brighter than the carbon did? Yes. All right. We'll see. It's important that the. Uh, oh my gosh. It, that the. Uh, alligator clips or the filament not touch this plastic because it does get very hot as you saw earlier. It could melt it. What's the matter? Is there a problem here, muscle man? <laughs> I drink my muscle milk. <laughs> He's trying to get the vacuum going. Kind of tough. Okay, here we go. This will be the last experiment. We're using the tungsten and when his parents get home tomorrow they've been away to Cancun, Mexico, haven't they? Yeah. And they left us to take care of you for a week, didn't they? Mm -hmm. It's been kind of fun, hasn't it? Yeah. I mean, with all your stuff you do, we didn't get a whole lot of time to spend together. But, but we've had some fun. We went and did some shopping today and ate some cool stuff and whatnot. Okay, and uh, we'll leave the rest of the wires so you can show your dad and mom how this is done, okay? Cool. All right, that's cool. Let me turn off the light. Here we go with the tungsten. Let's see what happens. Go for it, big boy. Wow. Wow. Look at that. Already. Is that slick? Let's see which one burns. It's getting a lot of smoke inside there. That thing is really burnt. Ooh, okay. 
What do you think the results were? The tungsten or the carbon? I think the carbon burned longer and a little bit brighter. That's right. I think the carbon did a better job than the tungsten, right? Right. All right. That's it. Kind of a neat thing to buy and play with your kids. And you can even make your own filaments out of different things. Um, you know, as long as the batteries work and, and they have enough juice to drive it. And, of course, you never know. You know, it, I don't know how long it takes to, ooh, look at this. Ooh, go ahead, go ahead. Hook it back up. It's not where it, I guess there was a little bit left there. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching, everybody.